All right, Victor, um, let's look at your swing here compared to Jamie. Uh, but first, it, you know, if it were me, I would go into this competition coming up that you have at Worlds uh, without much thought. Uh, I would uh, be an athlete, swing as hard as I could, fast as I could, uh, etc. So the things I'm going to mention here might get you a little bit more speed, but, you know, your spine movements uh, are really good. Um right now as they are so um, again maybe work on these after the competition but uh, it's up to you so first thing I see um, that might help this little move you have in transition dual abduction dual external rotation uh, in my opinion is overdone a little bit you know if you watch Jamie in transition sure he's abducted here with the femurs uh, externally rotated um, uh, but, you know, this little move that he has, if I put a line, I'm going to trace the inside of his left foot at address, and then when he lands in transition, you'll see how his foot sets down, uh, somewhat pigeon-toed or at least square, right? See that angle, uh, decrease? Now, when you do the same, uh, I'll trace the line of your foot, and then when you sit down in transition, it's basically on the same angle, right? And so you continue to externally rotate this left leg uh, at this point, and it's still bowed even, even to here, right? Still, 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 still flexed even at this point. You know, you see Jamie, when he uh, gets to that position, the left knee is extending, right? The left leg is pulling back. So it's pretty much straight at this point already. And then through impact, you know, he's firing uh, both hips in adduction. And then, you know, the, the left foot is unweighted. So you see that movement happen, that firing second fire happen right at moment of impact. Whereas I see you're stable. Uh, the left leg is slightly flexed still. And then right in here, it actually snaps back and pulls back. So ideally, you want that motion happening right there at impact. And yours is a little bit after. I mean, again, really good at impact. It could be just a little bit more explosive with that uh, adduction ADD. Um, you know, I'd like to see more of the left leg extending and pulling back that you do later in the swing happen right at impact. Um, that little tibialis uh, move with the inversion of the foot might help when you land that the heel should be uh, you know slightly towards the target uh, causing the foot to invert that's the muscle responsible for that is the tibialis anterior of the calf um, so you can look into that um, okay so let me look at let's look at target line real quick um, really the the only thing I see here, uh, Victor, the, um, you know, you're, I'll put some lines here on your trunk and then put some lines on Jamie. Uh, let's look at Jamie first. You see on the back swing, at the top of his swing, you know, he stays tall, right? So look at the big chunk of his body is still in between those lines. And you'll see um, the camera move just a little there. But you can see how you start to, your head starts to move, upper body, you know, in front of that, this line. So you see that chunk of your body down in front. So that's an indicator that you're doing something, you know, slightly different than him. And, you know, really the, the flexing of the pelvis, the left leg flexed here, I see it happen a little bit prematurely. Um, it happens certainly before Jamie does his. Um, again, I wouldn't worry about this right now, but um, you know, you can see how Jamie's all the way to right here on his backswing, then the left leg is still pretty much extended. It started to flex a little bit, but uh, yours is way more flexed than his, which causes the pelvis to kind of you know move down and then it causes your upper uh, torso to move forward towards the ball. So it's just a movement that um, that's different than his, a little sequentially different that you could work on, staying taller, uh, delaying this leg drive. And, and the reason why we do that is because looking from this angle, 
All right, so look at the backswing here. The your what's your left foot and the left knee come in pretty much right on the takeaway. The left heel is starting to raise, and then by the time you get right in here, it's pretty much the left heel and the left leg is internally rotated pretty much to the max. So there's a point here where from right here in your backswing all the way to right here, it's not doing much of anything, right? So it's a good a foot and a half, two feet of movement through space here with the arms that the legs haven't done much. Now if you watch Jamie, when he gets to right here on the backswing, watch the left leg. Hasn't done much. Left foot still on the ground. Okay, still, 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 still. It's about to fire internally, and then as soon as that left knee fires to max internal rotation, and the left heel is elevated to its max position, it immediately goes back to external rotation, right? There is no delay. It's max, and then back to external rotation, and then back to internal rotation. So there's just a little bit of a, fa a faster movement pattern there that he exhibits. Uh, a later internal rotation firing of the left leg, back to external rotation, pulling, extending back to internal rotation, unweighted impact that you don't quite have down yet. It's a little bit late, and then you're too externally rotated at this point, impact, and then you pull it back. So the sequence could be just a little bit more improvement, maybe just a little bit more dynamic and explosive. Um, overall, excellent swing. The uh, you know upper body mechanics are really good, really spot on. The uh, bicep fire there is pretty sweet. Um, I wish I had that on my swing. The uh, the the uh, retraction of that scap, the uh, pec minor pulling back that that's really really good. Right wrist extension, you know lateral bends excellent. Um, you know the rotation's good, so it's all good stuff. Um, maybe that maybe those. Um, bits of information will help, man. Keep me posted. Good luck at uh, Worlds. Take care.